This is how you can create a kids educational channel the easy way, monetize it in multiple ways and earn good money while adding value to the lives of the kids and the parents out there. Imagine you want to teach kids about the alphabet letters. The only thing that you need to do is to make the video unique and stand out from the cloud. And this is what we're going to learn in this video. When you go to YouTube and search for kids soul, you'll find to say there are tons of videos that are getting millions of views teaching kids the alphabet letters and when you observe carefully most of these videos if not all of them are in a song format and we're going to do all this by using AI tools. So the first thing that we need is to come to ChatGPT. This is a tool that we're going to use to help us come up with the ideas and the song lyrics. We are going to give it this prompt that says, I want to generate a song for kids using alphabet letters. Do you give me three ideas and song titles? Then we'll click on enter. Look at the result that ChatGPT has given us. Number one is the alphabet adventure. Number two is the alphabet animals. And number three is the alphabet action. This is just so amazing. I'm in love with this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we will pick a song that we love. Make sure you go through the verses and the chorus. And if there is any part that you have to uh, paraphrase or rephrase, or if there is a twist that you want to add to your, to your relics, you are free to do that. So what I'll simply do is I'll copy the first verse and the chorus like that. And the second step that I'll do is I will convert these text into a song. So to do that, we will go to Suno. This is one of the best AI tools that we can use to create a song from our text. So once we are on this dashboard, make sure you sign up with your email or your Google account. And then this is the dashboard. So what you simply have to do is come to where it says create. There are three ways on how you can create a song using Suno. And if you want to learn that, I'll leave a video in the description that walks you through the step-by-step -step three methods that you can use to generate a song using Suno AI. The results are different and you may find one of them to be so interesting and so very helpful. So please check out that video in the video description below or I'll pin it on the, on the video screen above. So what we'll simply do is we will turn on this custom mode once we are here like that. Okay. And we're going to paste in our texts or our lyrics here like that. The reason why we've only copied to the first verse and the chorus is because the Suno gives the best results if you've only pasted in one verse and a chorus at a time. So if you want to learn how you can add your second chorus or your, your second verse to the song, please check out that video. So what we simply have to do once that is done is to scroll down and choose the style of music that you want. So we need something that aligns with the kids. So make sure to say we cut in the style of the music that we want and we specify that we need a female singer. If you do not know the style of music that is suitable or that you prefer for kids, you can simply go back to ChatGPT and ask it to give you some best style of music for kids. I'll go for nursery rhyme and I'll add a singer to be a female singer. So we've specified to say we need a female singer. You can add if it's a pop, synth, piano, electronic. So it's all up to you to test out all these uh, music style. The next thing is we're going to add our title here and we're going to click on create. Okay, once the song have been generated, you can play them to hear the way they sound. If you do not like the way they sound, you can still come here and click on create again until you get that perfect sound of music that you desire. You can also test out different type of music style so that you come up with that awesome sound that you want to upload on your channel. So once you have finished generating your song, choose the one that you like and come to the three dots here and click on them and go to where it says download and download it as an audio. So once it is downloaded as an audio, the next step that I would love us to do is to go to Google and search for Adobe Express Animate from Audio. www.adobe.com is the one that we're going to click. It is free to use. So once it opens up, what we have to do is come to where it says start now. Now that the next page has opened up, the next thing that we need to do is, number one, we need to choose a character for our video. And the second thing, we need to choose a background for our video. And the third thing that we need to choose is the size. So we'll start with the character. So there are a lot of different characters that you can choose from. 
or you can come to the category section and you can select if you want to use an animal or uh, young people or professional people or uh, creatures. It depends with what you're looking for. I'll stick to young people. I will select Alita. So from there, the next thing that we need to do is to select the background. So I'll leave the background color to green, just like the way it is. So then the only thing I need to do is to resize my character like that. That's my preference, like that. And when it comes to the aspect ratio or the size ratio, I'll leave it to, to landscape. It's fine with me. And what we simply have to do is come to where it says record your character's dialogue or browse. So what we're going to do is we'll click on browse so that we can import the song that we had downloaded from Sono AI. Select the song, come to open. Now the song is being uploaded. So the next thing that I need to do is to come to the download button so that I can download it as a video. So once our video is downloaded, the next thing that we need to do is to make a complete video by putting in some background and everything. So to do this, we're going to use Canva. So we'll go to Canva. Once we're here, the next thing that we need to do is to come to where it says create a design and we'll scroll down to where it says video. Now that we are here, the next thing that we need to do is to choose a background for our song. Our song is talking about alphabet letters, so I would love it if it may display something like a classroom with a board, just like this video. It's, it's just so basic, but it got 40 million views. It doesn't have to be complicated for you to create a video that gets views. Just have to be simple and unique and straight to the point. So what we we'll do is we will come to elements and we will search for a classroom. And there we'll come to graphics and we'll look for any classroom that we, we prefer or that we desire, which we can work with. I think I love this one. So we'll click on it. Okay, perfect like that. So what I'll simply do is I'll increase the size to like that. Okay, like that, it's very perfect for me. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'll drag in the song that we've downloaded from Adobe Express. So I'll select the song like that. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on this song then I'll come to edit video. Then I'll come to where it says background remove or remove background. So select this part. Okay, perfect like that. I still can see some spots. Oh, there's some bluish color here on the forehead and some greenish color here uh, even on the on, on the bottom so I'll show you another way on how you can remove the background without having this issue of having uh, the green color still appearing and the uh, blue color uh, appearing on the forehead so stick with me I'll show you another way that you can use to make this perfect and smoother than this so what I simply have to do from here I will resize it like this and I'll increase my size of uh, my character to like that. And I'll place it wherever I want it to be. So I'll place my character somewhere here. What I'll simply do is I'll flip my character. So come to flip. I want it to face the other way around. So like that. So this is perfect. So what I'll simply do is I'll play the song. Okay, so here where it says A is for Apple, I'm going to add in letter A. So I'll come to text and I'll click on add a heading just for text. Then I'll select A. A like that and we'll resize A to our preference. Okay, A like that. And the next thing, it's saying A for Apple. So what I simply have to do is I can come to elements and search for an Apple. So it all comes down to your creativity. So I'll select an apple like that and I'll place the apple next to letter A and I'll resize it like that. I can change the color of my letter by selecting it and coming to text color and can make it white. That's if you feel like it must be white and you can add in some, some effects to it like an outline or just a lift like that. It all depends with your, your, your preference and what you want to work with. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do is I need to add some animation to letter A. So what I simply have to do is to add letter A and I'll come to animate. Then I'll look for something that makes it to pop. I'll also animate an apple. I would love it to slide in as letter A is popping up. So it's just something that slides. I will scroll down. Okay, something like this. Excellent. And then I will select 
animation on both sides and the speed of the animation i'll just leave it the way it is so the next thing that i need to do is to listen to the song and where letter a is ending from i need to split the pages so that i can bring in the next letter So here it's where letter B is starting. So this is where I'm going to split. Click on the option button and come to where it says a split pages. So what I simply have to do is I will change the letter. I'll leave the animation and everything to the way they are. So what I simply have to do is to just change the letter. So it's letter B. So just click on letter B. I can change the color for letter B, uh, make it maybe red or green. It all depends with what I want or what I want my video to look like. Then here it says it's saying B for ball. So I'll just come to my elements again and search for an object that is matching what is being spoken in the video. So I'll delete this apple and I'll select this ball and I'll resize it again to match my preference. So what I simply have to do is to listen to it, go to the next letter, listen to it until we are done with all the final letters. This is the simple process that we can take for the entire song. Now that we've finished editing our video, now we want to learn a way on how we can remove the green background without having this experience that we've had here in Canva. We've got some green stuff still being seen around and blue face on the forehead. So what we simply have to do is, the first thing that we must do is upload the audio file that we had downloaded from Suno. So once the file has been uploaded, I want you to drag it to your timeline like that. The next thing that I would love you to do is to click on our character and delete it. Don't worry, let's just delete it from all our scenes. So once we have downloaded, we've deleted our character. The next thing that I would love us to do is to come to share and come to downloads and download this as an MP4 file. Once it is downloaded, I would love us to come to CapCut. So this is the tool that we're going to use to remove the green background. You can use any other tool. Uh, that you are comfortable with. So once we own CapCut, the next thing that we need to do is to come to where it says new project. The next thing that I would love us to do is to import our media here. Just click on import or you can drag your media here. Okay, so once our media has been imported like that, I would love us to drag it to the timeline. And the next thing that I would love us to do is to also import the other media with the green background or our character with the green background. So what we're going to simply do is we're going to drag our, our our character on top like that. First thing that I would love you to do is to click on the video with a green background. And I want you to select video here on CapCut. And I want you to come to where it says cut out like that. And I want you to turn on this chroma key like that. And the next thing I would love you to pick this pen too and select the part which is green like that once it is selected i would love you to increase the strength like this so this brings out the green background from uh, from our character and one thing i love about this is that it is very smooth unlike if we did it in canva so you can increase the size like that until you do not see any green stuff and you can add in some shadow but if you feel like that is perfect the next thing that we need to do is to flip our video. So the first test and easy way we can flip our video is just click on the option button, come to edit and come to mirror and your uh, character will be flipped like that. So we'll place our character here and we'll, we'll resize our character like that and we'll place our character here. So this is perfect. We can play the video to see the way it sounds. A is for Apple. Juicy and sweet, B is for ball, bounce to the B, C is for cat purring all day. 